Hey guys, Fred Kynes, All Kinds of Classics. Just wanted uh, to give you an update here. We've got the the body of the 37 Dodge pickup sprayed now. Uh, it's all clear coated. We put some graphics into it in this video. It's a short one, but I wanted to show you uh, what everything looks like here and uh, and how things uh, wound up. The uh, the door signs uh, and a little bit of work that I want to do to the uh, to the dashboard are, are uh, what remains, but uh, it uh, for the most part uh, I love it. it looks beautiful, and uh, we are nearing the end of this little mini commercial project, and we will get back on the 1930 Chrysler. Thanks. Okay, here we're beginning to spray the bullets or bullet holes, I should call them. You can see that uh, we're using a stencil to do this. Um, we took the liberty to do a couple of uh, shotgun holes in it first, and then now we're starting with the white. Just made a magic marker on the truck to where I wanted the, the holes to be. A dot, if you will. There, and then there. That shotgun is a pretty simple one. We just wanted to get um get those out of the way so you can see everything sanded and masked out at this point and we're throwing down some uh some graphic here to <laughs> to get the look to where we want notice on the back yeah oh yeah another another round of, of um, shotgun holes in there so you can see you got the original Dodge on there yet. There's three of them. Uh, just the white and magic marker dots at this point. And then we'll get into the to the others. Oh, over here on a, on a we did a tester. So just several different arrangements. Uh, some with silver background. Um, yeah, testing the different templates there trying to show the effect of okay now we're just spraying it off um, this you know because we used aerosol cans on here wax and grease remover wouldn't be prudent uh, so we're spraying uh, wiped it down with a uh, glass cleaner and uh, spraying it off after coming back and and you know touching it a thousand times and hitting it with some scotch bright that kind of thing but uh, at this point uh, getting her sprayed down and ready okay now we're applying the first coat of primer or uh, primer clear coat um, I'm at the end of the booth and you can see this is a uh, uh, slideable wall booth so just poking actually poking the camera in the end right here and trying to get a shot at um, at getting the first coat down now this is two people spraying at the same time because because that's the best way to keep clear coat wet keep the edge wet and keep her sprayed so this is first coat going down right now Okay, here now we've got the clear coat, uh, three three coats on, extremely shiny. This should cause a lot of controversy, you know, why didn't you go with satin or flat? Uh, for a clear coat, you know, for crying out loud, <laughs> why wouldn't it be satin or flat? But such as the uh, case is, um, we, or I, chose to go with uh, Shiny to make sure people can say, well, why did you do it that way? This is art. This is not real. It's not intended to, it's intended to, to uh, be a picture of what a real rusted out vehicle would look like, but this is the way I want to do it. And that's the whole point of this is to show off that effect and to, to, Pull what's out in my brain, you know, as it relates to how I want this to look and feel uh, when people walk by and take a look at it. But it, uh, there is some texture in it. 
um, in the areas where you can kind of see it on the hood there in the areas where there was a significant amount that of material that I did not sand off you know because the more you sanded you were eventually arriving at kind of like the door there you're eventually arriving at a perfectly smooth surface but you have no more material left so you have to leave some material on to have the the effect that you're trying to achieve and in that case it does appear that the clear coat is right over the top of rust <laughs> so uh, very much enjoyed uh, this experience and and it went very 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 well um, as we near the the end of this and prepare to demask and get her ready to roll. Well, it's kind of a cloudy day, but she really, really turned out well. Can't wait to get the box cover and the mirrors and all the rest of that stuff on it. She really looks good. Okay, I took uh, the evening after I got back yesterday to the shop. I decided to go in then and put all the parts on it. So I'll do a quick walk around. Um, Got the box liner on it. It works great. Put 40 pound uh, struts on it. I'm gonna lift it, but I have to use two hands because of these. Got the rubber strips on, the seal strip on the end. Got it on the front. I did get 40 pound struts, so it uh, closes significantly easier. All the J pieces that opening there is for the strut mount can't get around the J piece you know this is a continuous J can't get around that area because there's a plate there That's hooks the alignment hooks and the latches down here latching onto there the ability to open it from the inside or the or the outside and then of course the tailgate axis is right there so everything everything worked out really wonderful it operates beautiful had a little sag here I, I didn't show it to you I guess because you know hate to hate to see sags but I did wet sand that out and polish it yesterday um, I'll back up here I'm in a shop there we go and Got the license plates on the everything is back on the vehicle mounted the windshield wiper the new rear view mirror i might get one for the other side i just didn't know i got this off of amazon it's like 15 bucks and i wanted to make sure that it was a reliable so i'll drive it out a little bit if the glass falls out or something like or it loosens up right away it's just two set screws from the back but i wanted that look you know i wanted that change from that big truck look to now the small truck look so uh that part is done there's the walk around i'm waiting for the door signs they should be done soon between uh that and where i'd blown out the right there my controls it's a light that's the vent you know the vent up on the up there uh, the heater that's a usb the heater motor and uh and the temperature controls right there uh i'm gonna laser etch those into this and maybe even do some more machining on this uh to just to just to accent it to make it a little more factory seat i think i already showed the seat with the back lighting Everything, everything just turned out really good. Very, very, very happy with it.